Hey Plessy friends, ooh, <laughs> welcome back to another new video. Today, um, it is currently the morning to the via. I just woke up, took a shower, it feels so great right now. My coffee is brewing and I'm gonna go watch some plenty of videos when I'm drinking coffee. But I decided as I'm waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and film the intro of this video. So as y'all see, we're going to be doing a plant update video. It's been a hot minute and I'm super duper excited to like show you, take you guys along and show you what is going on with all the plants. Uh, yeah, if you are new, hi, welcome to this fancy channel. My name is David and we post a lot of plants related content in here. Every now and then, like during like, you know, this time there's an exception, exception. Um, I'm a big Christmas person. So we do a little bit of Christmas shopping every now and then. And let me just go and take you guys along and show you how these plants are doing. Alrighty guys, so I honestly don't know where to start, but I ended up getting this really cute plant from Walmart. It was $20. So it has a golden potos, a some spider plants around it, and it has this singlonium, which I honestly love so much. I haven't seen a mini singlonium before. I've seen like a lot of like, you know, like singlonium's like this kind of pattern, but I've never really seen a mini singlonium. I'm pretty sure they're very common in your area, but in my Lowe's or Walmart, I don't really see them that often. And I'm just obsessed with it. And it also has a polka dot plant, which is super duper cute. And I think it's starting to bloom. I'm not that sure. It's just starting to stretch, but it is adorable. And it has the punzera in the middle. Um, when I got it, I had to like, you know, understand that once the season is over, I will be end up dividing them. And I'm actually super duper excited to do that. So that might be into a video um, dividing, well, separating the uh, Singonium, polka dot plants, the spider plants, and the golden potos, and the poinsettia. Um, it's just like a bunch of blooms. Like I'm really intrigued by that. But it was twenty dollars at Walmart. It was super duper affordable, and I mean, it has one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if I consider that one, but six plants. So that's a pretty good deal. And then over here is the other stuff, as you can see. Oh, by the way, this beautiful amaryllis. That's what you call it, it's starting to bloom. And I don't think the camera's gonna pick it up, but it has a very like beautiful like shimmer effect. Oh, perdón. Oh, you guys saw the shimmering? It's not really pulling in the camera, but in person it looks so pretty. I'm super duper excited for it to open. It has this set of blooms over here, and then it has another one over here, and then it has another one over here, which I love. It's like once this one is done, this one will be next. Once that one is done, this one will be next. So super excited i'm actually buy like a couple more i think what looks super pretty like four of them or three of them over here or five that'd be so gorgeous but super exciting and i was for 8.98 at what do you call it Lowe's. and then this is my collective portfolio she's currently in quarantine because she has muddy bugs and every time i see them i always try to like burn them off with rubbing alcohol well, i was like why is it so like flimsy and soft but this is one of its new leaves look at that Super, super cute. And here's another one unfurling. Adorable. And there's more straws coming in. That's what I call them, like the new leaves, like straws, because they actually look like straws. Super, super cute. Already, I'm back. <laughs> My mom ended up calling me and just chatting up. But I was looking at some plants that I was on the phone. I don't know, I feel like every time I do that, whenever I'm on the phone with somebody, I just walk around and start looking at my plants. I rarely ever, in the beginning when I was collecting house plants, I used to always like look at them all the time. But now I just, I don't know. Hey Valentino. Hey, baby. By the way, look what my boyfriend did. He's so creative. I love the little snowflakes and the stars. He's so cute. And I'm so super happy, super, 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 super happy that he did it. Cause we're getting a lot of direct sunlight. It's my most out of Peru, I don't think that's not a stuff, but got a little bit burned. Um, I'm not that stressed out because it is putting out new leaves and I saw some new ones like over here. Do y'all see that? This new one over here. <gasps> and there's new shoots coming in. That's really good because it looked very like empty in the middle, like just bold. And I'm super, super duper happy to so start getting more bush here. Here's this really fun zingonium. Honestly, it's super duper cute. Very expensive though. I would never pay that much, but I mean, I just did. $17. I don't even like the pot, y'all. But it is such a cute thing. I just love, I know that they're very common, y'all. <laughs> but I don't know. There's always just so much grain and a little bit of like white over here just like pops a little bit better. It looks amazing. And then we have a bird of paradise. Bird of paradise. Bird nest fern. Also got burned over here. And my George uh, banana plant got burned as well. But my boyfriend just fixed that. So 
which is this beautiful art piece. I love that so much. It is putting out a new leaf, which is why I'm not getting super duper sad. But um, yeah, I'm surprised because like bananas are from outside. Like they get, they're supposed to get full light, like direct light. But I guess because it was like, um, it wasn't hardened. So yeah. And then look at this bird's nest farm putting out a new little, oh, there's some new ones in there. Looks like they're having a meeting, super duper cute. And, <laughs> and the string of pearls, I'm so shocked that this guy is still alive. Um, it was in my mom's like balcony for a while and it grew so damn much But people tell me it's not a string of pearls. It's a string of tears or something like that But when I bought it, it, it literally says string of pearls So I don't know but even then I think it's super duper cute The little balls um, I really hope it doesn't die. I haven't watered for the longest period of time So I need to give it like top watering. I want to bottom water it because I know string of pearls have very delicate roots or a string of tears, whoever wants to call it that way. Um, look at the Brazils putting out some fun new leaves. I kept staring at this one. This has to be one of my favorite ones. As you guys can see, it's a little bit old, but she's she's a little bit wise. We love that about her. Look at that leaf. <gasps> I think that's me. I love it. Look at that small little leaf. Oh, he's trying his best. Um, I just love my Brazil. He's a little iconic, my baby. And here are my skin depths, as y'all can see, it's actually kind of thirsty. Um, I can tell because it's starting to curl. So I'm gonna go and top water it. Or not bottom water, I'm not that sure. Um, but he needs some watering pretty soon. Um, this is some DIYs that I did last year. It's literally just gift bags <laughs> from Dollar Tree and the frames from Dollar Tree. So it was only $2 to make and I kind of like it. It's like, if you don't have, um, if you have like a little empty spot, I'm gonna put a little bit of Christmas in it on a budget. This is perfect. I think it's perfect. Some might say it looks tacky or cheap, but I do not care. It has glitter and it says Christmas stuff in it and it makes me happy. <laughs> Over here we have a bird's nest. Oh my God, what? What is that? Oh, it's like, I was like, variegation. What is going on? But no, um, it's a bird of paradise. This is a bird of paradise. And this is a bird's nest fur. They sound so similar to me, to be honest. <gasps> My Dracaena, I forgot about her. So this girl, I've been struggling with her um, for a while. And then as soon as I just neglected her, she's been thriving. I haven't watered her for like months, y'all. Months. Um, and she's, she's happy. So it makes me super, super happy and it's putting out new leaves. She is kind of dusty from the spray and to go and take this off. Cause like, ew, um, I'm the worst. But um, yeah, so we have these two girlies over here just chilling and vibing. And we have these really cute Kalathea. I'm super happy that she is still alive and not dying because I'm not the best with the Kalatheas. <gasps> Look at that new leaf. And I love the back. It's like maroon, my favorite color because I look so good in my room. I don't know what it is, but I look good in it. We have a uh, Mr. Potos. I think it's just a global brand to be honest. Um, Because like, you guys see like the light variegation in it. Um, yeah, she kind of cute. But if it's just a basic potos a, or a manjula poto that's just reverting back. Oh my god, my iPad. I was like literally looking for it. Oh, oh she's wet. So I'm also the worst owner. You know, I just remember to why it's wet because I just water my plants. Okay, it's still working. I'm stuck so bad at this. Okay, but um, yes, I don't care about the potos because like, like what kind of potos it is because I just love potos so damn much. <gasps> you see a little bit, oh, the water. Look, they look so pretty. I just, I love potos. Like they are just the most, they really do tolerate low light conditions. Um, that's all I'm gonna say. Like they really do really good compared to like scandopsis or um, philodendrons in my environment. So love that. And then I guess this is since this is a lot. Since this is a plant as well, here's the Christmas tree. These ornaments are three years old. I got them from Michaels. Um, this is the third year that I've been using them. And I bought some new ones from Family Dollar. And um, like you can really tell. But like I think it's like the these. This one. And there were like some silver ones as well. Like that's the biggest theme. Like it's just a little bit of green, a little bit of silver, but a lot of red, and a little bit of um Verde. And also my um <laughs> the ornaments that we made with my family. You know, seen that video we were like doing I think it was like a houseplant day vlog. I'm not that sure, but my my brother made this one. I love them. As of now, there is no cockroaches or ants, which makes me super duper happy. 
Um, if I see any ants, this will be thrown away because like, I don't want to see that. Oh, and over here, see, this is a poto. This is my neon potos. Not getting that much light, but Lord have mercy, is putting out these beautiful leaves. And look, you guys, I'm just, <laughs> I love it. I really do. Wait, <gasps> I literally remembered. I have another potos, and it's on my mom's in the backyard. <gasps> Ay, Dios mio. I need to go and get it. It's probably like really bad. Well, anyways, we have these potos. This one's my um, oldest one. This one's three years old. The one that's on my mom's is the newest one, but during Gorgianus. And we have a beautiful Chariscantia, and honestly, it has grown a lot. Um, it's either stretching or just growing. Creciendo. Those like spider mites, but just glitter. Love it. I really, really do. And it's super, super soft. The bottom of its leaves, you can see a little bit of like purple, which is a nice pop. And it's nice because, you know, people are sitting over here. They can look up and can see a little bit of purple. Love that. We have some spider plants. I think it's just a basic spider plant. This is a um, bonnie spider plant. Um, beyond. I love bonnie spider plants. They're just so goddamn and beautiful. And we've got a Brazil over here. Look at this. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. It wasn't looking so good because it was neglected. And my mom's, like, really bad because I left it in the backyard for the next time. But look at these new leaves, you guys. Oh my god, they're just pieces. People get mad because they're like, this is the same stuff all the time. But yeah, this makes me happy, okay? And um, yeah, I just, I'm basically, I'm sorry. I'm like, I just, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. But I just, I love my Brazils. I, um, like my basic plants, they could be like 20 years later and I'm still fascinated by each leaf. It's just, they're always so unique and different, which is why I had to get a new one. This is my newest one. Just beautiful. There isn't all leaf I need to pull out, but I'll get it later. Um, we have a monstera leaf over here. It's just like in water. I thought it was super duper cute. I do have my big monstera. I'm like debating on like selling it or giving it to my mom. It's just it's getting way too big, and I just I don't have the space for it. There's Valentino right there. This, that's his favorite spot to chill. Um, but yeah, and then we have my Cebu Blue chilling over here. Minding her own business, I love that. Gorgeous. And we have this um, red stem and thurium that put out this new leaf. Yeah, this is a new leaf. A little bit imperfect, but that's what makes it perfect. And then there's a new one coming in. I think so, I'm not that sure. But really pretty. We have a domino piece of leaf, which just started to get thirsty. Kind of just like, you know, spinach when you cook it. We got a ZZ. Look at that new leaf that's coming in. And then my star something, Calathea. Surprisingly, no spider mites yet. I'm always checking on it because I'm so paranoid. But it's doing really good in this spot. So makes me super duper happy. Um, this is literally, like, literally becoming into a um, husband story. But I'm just giving you guys updates on like all the plants that I see. I finally got my begonia for my mom's. <laughs> She's a little bit of TLC. And then the ones that I'm propagating, this is my bougie section over here. Because they're getting some bougie light. Um, I need to fix this entire plant room. I just cleaned it a little bit, but one of these days I'm gonna go and um, actually organize and set up grow lights and everything and the humidifier. That's a new Hoya! I'm in love. Look how that big the thing is. I love it. Um, and then this is the Monstera. I forget what it's called, but supposedly it's part of the Monstera family. Beautiful. And here's a single name, but Teak, y'all. I see all those new shoots coming in. Like, oh my lord. So pretty. Gorgeous. Just the way it's glowing. Like, oh my lord. I have another Domino Piece of the Aparica. Just one of my favorites. Um, Singuania. Pink Singuania will be here. This is the mother plant. I will show y'all the um, one that I propagated. This one did have a middle bug problem, but I think I fixed it. You all see all those roots right there? I can chop it up and make new plants, which is amazing. Um, here's my new, my rental that I bought. Putting out a new leaf, love flat. And then this is the bougie section. I'm gonna go outside. Um, here's my orchid, it's putting out a new leaf. I'm super duper happy. A beautiful spectatalium um, over here, barragata, I don't know what you call it, but it's there. And my silver and scandapsis that I propagated by nodes and it's putting up this new leaf over here. Here is this one. 
that I'm propping it because the mother one looks like crap. So <laughs> I'm making a new one. You can see the roots. I'm not big on water propagation, but I decided to do it on this guy because why not? So he's over here just chilling, and I love the way it looks, to be honest. So, gorgeous. Here is a um, Pariso Verde, variegated, I think so. Just chilling over here. Um, I will do an update video on the plants that were shipped out to me by Airbud Asia. I think that's a new shoe. I am not that sure, but I've been staring at it for a while. Here is this, um, the begonia that I propagated. Here is the mother plant. It was pretty big. And then this is the um, the cuttings that I took. And it's, you put out this new leaf. And it has some new ones over here coming in. You guys can see that little thing right there. Here is the um, skeleton key. I want to give it a muscle. So damn bad. Over here, I think it's a ring of fire. I'm not that sure, but the one that got damaged from shipping. There's a new shoot coming in though. I keep staring at it. And here's a um, pink splash syngonium that I was, that I propagated. Look at this new leaf. Mm hmm These are the old ones. When I bought it, it wasn't, they weren't that very good. But I've been focusing on giving it some low, good light. And look at that. Mm hmm I know, I know. Mm hmm It's cute. This will look so good on a shirt, to be honest. <sighs> Oh my lord, it's so cute. Okay, and then this is a jewel orchid, and it's starting to, I didn't even know they bloom, you guys, and like, it's putting out some buds. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, here's a philodendron that I propagated. This is my plant. She don't look that good. It's okay, though. And, oh, here's my variegated Hartley philodendron, a very bougie, expensive plant. Um, <gasps> Look at the new leaf. Okay, I keep saying this leaf. I think it's putting out, look, it's putting out another one. I think it's super duper happy. And uh, I just, I didn't saw this leaf. Look at this leaf. <gasps> wow, pull through, Miss Girl. One of these days, I'm gonna go and chop her and make more of them. Cause imagine like a variegated holy that are just going down. By the way, I made these. I just took pictures of my plants and um, decided to print them out and put them on these solid tree picture frames. <laughs> the Brazil, because I love Brazil's polka dot plants because my boyfriend loves that plants. And the potos and joy because it's just one of a good fun plants to have. Um I am gonna like take more pictures of my leaf of my collection of like the leaves and set up the wall with more pictures um of those foliages because I'm a big foliage person. Uh, <laughs> but that's crazy though like it's doing so good and I'm so super happy. It's going like crazy though. I did fertilize it because like you know, why not? Um, yeah. Here is a variegated epipyrlene, something like that. I ended up placing it in soil. I don't know if that's mold or something, but yeah, I'm hoping that I can roots. Oh my god. <gasps> I think I see a new shoot coming in. Do y'all see that? Like right over here. Let me put my nail on the back. Do you see a little bump? I know, Paca, but mira acá. You guys. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, so my entire silver splash scandapsis died. All the cuttings rotted, and I placed this one in soil. And I'm just, it's still there, <laughs> still flimsy. I'm like literally gonna cry, cause like it was such a bushy plant, just to find out it was like dying and there were not even rooted cuttings that I bought from Etsy. But even though it was labeled on a hanging basket, rooted cuttings, but I mean a rooted plant, not even cuttings. So this is only um, silver splash skin that I have. I am praying and hoping that I can put out some new shoes and I can do happy and it's, oh my God, sorry. And the soil. So I'm gonna give it some lights and hopefully it can thrive. He's my very good um, Hoya Compactum. Um, not looking their best. I got it for, this is literally what I paid it for, $15. It's okay though, I know it's gonna get bigger. I'm hoping they can get big pretty fast because I know um, Costa Farm is gonna start They've been selling them, but it's taken a while for them to like put out to the big box store. So I'm hoping and praying that it will be pretty soon. So love that. And here's my oldest Cebu Blue. When I bought the Brazil, I bought this um, Cebu Blue and also the Neon Potos. Um, there's some other plants over here, here and now and then. To be honest, it's getting pretty long. So I'm gonna make a part two and show you guys the rest of the collection because there's kind of some more stuff happening but it's getting pretty long, but look at this. Or am I just like, cause I gotta go to work. So <laughs> that's literally the reason why I'm gonna finish the video because I need to go to work. Um, oh my God. This is a Burley Marks variegated for the dendron. It's super, super beautiful. It's just doing her thing. And I see a lot of 
pieces of notes developing, which means I can propagate and make more of them and make a bushier plant. So pretty! Like, what? Exciting. My string of hearts. Yeah, also, my miniature's kind of struggling a little bit, so that's a little sad. Those are the lists that I just pulled out right now. Here's my tie constellation. Um, it hasn't grown that much because I removed it from the grow light, so I need to give it its grow light again. So I can start putting out new leaves. This is one of its newest leaves. Like, look at that big chunk right there. Gorgianus. And this is um, a cutting that I was trying to root, but it ended up um, rotting. So I just left it to callus over. So once it's done callusing over, I will place it in spine moss or perlite, find a way to propagate it. Cause like, look at this, it's beautiful. And the other part that I have of it, it's over here. You started to get this better out on Um, It's over here. It's still pretty firm, so I'm hoping that I can do okay because I'm not gonna cry if I lose this guy. Um, that's why I chopped it because, like, I just wanted to make some backups just in case that this one doesn't do good. But I think this one will do pretty good. And, like I said, these are some really good grow lights, so I have high expectations on these plants over here. No excuses. Oh, and here's the mother plants of the silver Anne. These are some plants that I end up repotting. My pinks, I'm gonna in the back. I love her. Um, such a beautiful, gorgeous plant. I love my scandopsis. Even though I'm still trying to figure them out a little bit, I should have repotted this guy. In another video, I'll repot it in his water too. But let me show you guys to look at this iconic leaf. It's a lemon, lemon lime philodendron, and this leaf decided to revert back, and it looks beautiful. But yeah, you guys, I'm gonna go and end the video over here. All right, everybody, friends, that is basically it for today. I was gonna film a little bit more, share with y'all more about like this because there's more plants in the plant room but the video's getting pretty long so i might just make a part two um or i don't know but <laughs> that's basically it for today hope you guys enjoy um today's new video and um yeah valentino's over here this guy but thank you so much for watching sending positive advice to each and every single one of y'all and i'll see you on the next one bye